Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. The world is a cat <laughs> playing with Bitcoin. All right, guys. So we had some news yesterday or the night before about the SEC's investigation into Ethereum. So we're going to get into that and several things surrounding that. If you guys have not, please like and subscribe. And as always, if you have a few dollars to, to help out these animals over at For Them Animal Sanctuary, please go over to their page. I have their link in the description. You can also just go to For Them, the number four, themanimalsanctuary.org. You can see uh, right here, they have the their PayPal right on their front page. You can just easily donate a couple dollars to help out these needy animals. Uh, they also do have a Patreon, and you can also go show your support on their social media. So, guys, go over and donate to this cause. Great cause. I'm supporting them all this month, which is coming to be about the end of the month almost already, guys. Um, anyways, yeah, go, go support these guys. It is a tax write-off. Now, let's get into the news. The SEC drops the investigation into Ethereum. Now, guys, in a previous video, I was kind of speculating that the SEC might, since they did approve the Ethereum ETFs, it, it really might have put a damper on their Wells notices that they have issued to Uniswap and Consensus and, and, you know, Ethereum. So yeah, it's looking like that is the case. They're going to drop this investigation. Um, the uh, Consensus right here, these guys are the ones that uh, do the Met MetaMask and they are part of the Ethereum. I believe they're part of the Ethereum Foundation. So um, they are going ahead and continuing their preemptive lawsuit against the SEC to hopefully gain even more clarity. But the SEC is dropping their investigation. Now, it'll, it's yet to be seen whether they're going to uh, file a lawsuit against Uniswap, Uniswap being an Ethereum decentralized exchange. That is yet to be seen, but I can't imagine that that they would. I don't, you know, I don't know. You never know with the SEC. Sometimes they they get their legs and everything cut off legally, and they still are just dying to go after crypto. But I think this is more of a political shift, if I'm completely honest. Um, you know, we've seen... We saw initially we saw Trump come out pro Bitcoin and it has really forced the hand of the Biden administration and the SEC to take a different approach uh, than this enforcement by or this uh, regulation by enforcement tactic that they've had for a while. So. It'll be interesting to see what they do, but it, things are looking good, guys. Like I said, the SEC has just completely been clobbered for the last year or two years now with about every crypto case out there. We had XRP, we had Grayscale in their case, which brought us the, ET, the Bitcoin ETFs, uh, Debtbox, I mean, just about every crypto lawsuit that has been taken to the SEC, the SEC has lost. And speaking of debt box, guys, the this happened uh, just a few weeks ago. The SEC closed their entire Salt Lake City office. And this was as a result of the failed crypto case against debt box. Now, guys, if you remember that case, the SEC lawyers basically perjured themselves, lied to the judge, lied to the courts uh, in order to freeze debt box, uh, debt boxes assets. 
So, and they did receive sanctions from the court for that. So they did close that office, which is a huge hit to the SEC. Um, and they did get those sanctions. Now, this is another piece of SEC news that just happened uh, last week, I believe. Uh, says the SEC's crypto enforcement chief steps down after nearly nine years. Now, guys, David Hirsch was the head of the uh, the SEC, and he has been basically the head of the SEC since long before all of this enforcement uh, regulation by enforcement that they've been doing the last few years. But this is interesting. You know, this comes just right after the political shift where the White House is trying to uh, kind of backpedal, in my opinion, um, from, from their anti-crypto stance. You know, they've kind of stood by Elizabeth Warren and her anti-crypto army. And the SEC has kind of taken that approach as well. Now the the White House is trying to backpedal because they know that, you know, fighting crypto is a, it, it, it threatens their very existence because they're not going to win any elections by trying to hurt the pocketbooks of 50 to 80 million Americans, basically, that hold crypto. So they're trying to backpedal. The Biden administration says they're crypto friendly now um, and they're they're accepting donations in crypto. So all of this is happening. I don't know if the head of the uh, enforcement at the SEC, this David Hirsch guy, if he stepped down as a part of that, but it certainly comes at a strange time. So um you know interesting to see now another thing guys on social media and even in the mainstream news um we're having there's this huge thing with both bitcoin maxis and xrp the xrp army holder guys um which honestly <laughs> you know do your thing but you know both of these groups are coming out hard against the Ethereum ETFs. You know, the Maxis are saying, oh, it's 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 a total security. I can't believe the SEC is being influenced by the, you know, the politics of things. And the XRP guys are, you know, the XRP lawyer and all, all kinds of XRP guys are coming out in the media and stating, you know, it's unfair that the SEC is treating Ethereum with privilege and, you know, it's it's total bias and we had to go to court. So, so should Ethereum. <sighs> Guys, honestly, when I see that stuff, it, it takes me back to, you know, when I said earlier in, in this channel, Everybody in crypto hates everybody. And it's it's discouraging to see because when the Bitcoin ETFs were heading for approval, everybody in the crypto community, everybody was cheering that on. Okay? When XRP was in a lawsuit against the SEC for securities for being an unregistered security everyone in the crypto community was cheering xrp on so honestly you know my message to the xrp army that are complaining that ethereum's getting a, a preferential treatment and to the bitcoin maxis that are saying oh it's not you know, Bitcoin's the only one that should have an ETF. It's not fair. Grow up. You know, honestly, come together as a crypto community. 
We all cheered on the Bitcoin ETFs. We all cheered on XRP in their lawsuit. Grow up. Stop acting like privileged four-year-olds and saying, it's not fair, it's not fair. Come together and be happy for the crypto community. Just my two cents. Um, okay, so anyways, in other news, guys, we do have some economic data that came in this morning. Uh, this is building permits. And as you can see from this headline, building permits fall to nearly four year low. Now, this came in uh, far below expected. Uh, we were expecting to get uh, 1.44 million um, in permits, and we ended up only getting 1.386 million, which is, as it says, uh, a four year low. Now, guys, um, What's interesting about this is last, uh, it wasn't last month, but the last time this economic data, data came out, it was uh, April and it was, it came in at 1.45 million. So we were actually expecting, um, actually, no, it came in at 1.44. We were expecting this month to get 1.45. So instead of increasing we actually dropped dramatically to that 1.3 but guys this is just another thing to stack on uh the the proof that the economy is not doing quite as hot uh, as you know great as fed chair Powell is claiming you know he came out in his FOMC speech and said the economy is strong, even though, you know, GDP is down, even though um, employment, <laughs> the employment numbers were, were kind of off. Uh, but even though those employment numbers, once you dig into it, don't really show that the, uh, the economy is doing great, you know, all of this stuff compounding, maybe, Maybe the straw that that breaks uh, Fed Chair Powell's back, and he finally comes around to the fact that the economy is not doing so hot. I don't know. At some point, he is going to have to to pivot on that, guys. Um, it's it's apparent in just about every metric that we've seen. And inflation has come down the past few uh, CPI releases. So things are looking good for a rate cut this year, guys. Um, probably sooner than we think, in my opinion. But a lot of people don't think um, a lot of people don't think we're even going to get one rate cut this year. But the the Fed is saying we'll get one by the end of the year. I think we may see things escalate quicker than that, but you never know. Be interesting to watch. Now, guys, I want to jump over to a few posts on X that I saw uh, that were interesting. First, this is a commercial uh, from Bitwise. And these guys, these guys are just um, classic with their commercials, you know, they came out with the big, but their Bitcoin ETF commercial was the most interesting man in the world, which was classic. And now they've come out with this one. So I just want to share this with you guys. Hello, I'm Ethereum. Oh, and I'm big finance. You okay? You look really tired. Just calling it a day. <laughs> but it's 4 p.m. Yeah, and I've been working nonstop since 9.30 this morning, so. 9.30? <laughs> You don't say. Yep. You'd want a little shut-eye, too, if you've been moving billions around the world. Well, actually, I do. You know, stable coins, NFTs, loans. People can access me 24-7. What? But look, everyone's different. You should get your rest. You've had a long day. Well, I have, haven't I? Definitely. You'll get after it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Monday. You'll get after it again on Monday. Monday. 
Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty classic there. Just kind of shows how old and outdated traditional finance really is. Um, but honestly, shows what Ethereum can do as well. You know, Bitcoin is kind of that uh, store of wealth, honestly, and Ethereum is a completely different thing. That's what a lot of maxis, Bitcoin maxis, don't really understand is, you know, Bitcoin is this one thing, you know, and it's great at it. It is the king. But Ethereum is something completely different. Ethereum is more about decentralized finance and smart contracts and all these other things, you know, real world asset tokenization and all of these other things that, you know, it's not, Ethereum is not competing against Bitcoin. Ethereum isn't trying to be a store of value. Ethereum is much more about revolutionizing the technology behind finance. So anyways, great commercial there. Uh, one other tweet that I kind of wanted to show you guys um, was this one. It says, friendly reminders, this is not a bear market. A lot of people need to hear that right now. This is not a bear market. We are going sideways and we have been for three months and it gets boring and kind of discouraging at times, but this is not a bear market. Number two, the idea of Bitcoin was to remove money from government control. Presidential candidates do not care about you. I promise. My thoughts exactly. Okay, whether it whether it be, you know, Trump or Biden, these guys, one, they don't understand crypto, and two, they don't care about you. Uh, three, the people who have been in the space for eight plus years are tired. I probably look pretty tired. Uh, but I'm excited guys. So, um, stick with it. Things are getting good. And four, many projects aren't innovative. The founders just like money. So be careful if you are going out further on the risk spectrum in crypto there, there are a, little, a lot of good projects, but there are some that are just out there as cash grabs for the founders. So just be careful, make sure whatever you're investing in, you believe in, in what is backing it up. Or if you're getting into meme coins, just know that that is a casino basically. So anyways, guys, that is about it for the video today. If you guys like the video again, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the video. And as always, Thank you for taking your time and watching the video today, and I will see you guys in the next one.